Hey guys and welcome to Infinity of Nashua. My name is Jacob, also known as Car Guy 1999 Reviews here on YouTube. And today we're going to be taking a look, an in-depth tour and test drive of the 2022 Infinity QX60. The 2022 QX60 is available in three trim levels, Pure, Ascent, or Lux, and the Red Sport. This one is the top of the line Red Sport 400. Biggest difference with the Red Sport is 400 horsepower versus 300. It's the same 3.0 liter twin turbo V6, however features a slightly different tune as well as different impeller blades in the turbo to give you more power. For the Lux, you also have one optional pack, and that is the Essential Pack. So you can have a Q60 Essential, it's just not a designated trim level. That adds the Essential is on top of the Lux, that adds navigation and a bunch of other features. On the Red Sport, this car has it. So I'm keeping this off to the side because this is where I'm getting my information. And it is only for dealers, so I don't want to be sharing it directly. Now, the Red Sport, you can add Proactive Pack. This car has it. That adds your direct adaptive steering, lane departure prevention, active lane control, blind spot intervention, adaptive lighting with high beam assist, front pre-crash seatbelts, and eco pedals. So adaptive front lighting, these headlights are going to turn with you. Standard colors, you have pure white, black obsidian, and graphite shadow. Premium paints, you have majestic white, midnight black, grand blue, and this color here, slate gray. You also have a tinted clear coat paint known as dynamic sunstone red. You have graphite, gallery white, monaco red, stone for monaco red and stone for interior colors. This one here is monaco red. Bunch of different wheels. These are the upgraded accessory wheels for the Red Sport. But that's all I need that for. So, without further ado, let's take a quick peek under this hood. Biggest addition for 2022 is wireless Apple CarPlay. So here under the hood, this is your three liter twin turbo V6. Like stated prior, 300 horsepower from the base three liter twin turbo V6. This one is the 400 horsepower with 350 pound feet of torque. Again, those horsepower and torque gains are due to different blades inside the twin turbos and a different tune. This engine here is the one featured in the new Nissan Z. So they took this powertrain, this engine, and put that into the Z. Black grille here on the front, absolutely gorgeous. While you can option, it's standard, I should say, rear wheel drive, this one here is all wheel drive. In our New England climates, we're only gonna order all wheel drives. So it has the carbon fiber rear trunk spoiler, good amount of cargo space. Bose Performance Series Audio comes in with the Lux with the, um, the Essential Pack in order to access the rear. Pull that handle, push that button. Plenty of room in the back seat. Put the seat back, lean it back, push the button. It's gonna go all the way back. This one has the illuminated kick plates as well as welcome lighting underneath. Red brake calipers signify this is the Red Sport. You're also gonna have the red S next to Q60 on the trunk. what has red sports have the carbon fiber trim stated for 400 horsepower 3 liter twin turbo v6 450 pound feet of torque mated or 
power is coming through the seven speed automatic and now it's made it to the infinity intelligent all-wheel drive system uh, this again 20 inch accessory wheel proactive pack premium paint uh, the carbon fiber rear deck lid cargo pack uh, exterior welcome lighting and illuminated kick plates slate gray monaco red Thirteen speaker Bose Performance Sound, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Wi-Fi hotspot. I mean, you have absolutely everything. Dual HD screens. My biggest complaint with previous ones is these were two different resolutions. Not anymore. This top screen is going to be controlled by this dial here. You can sit there, activate your around view monitor. Right now we're facing the front. Front again with curb view on the passenger side and full front. This is your map, your voice, and you can go through, zoom in like so. This bottom screen, this is where you're going to enter all your addresses and everything. Points of interest, driver assistance settings, so you can turn on lane assist, emergency assist, blind spot assist. You can sit there and adjust it. Your connections is where you're going to find all your Bluetooth. You can store up to six devices. Your Infinity in Touch services, your drive mode selector. So your Red Sports have, I believe it's six different settings. Yep. Personal, Sport Plus, Sport, Standard, Eco, and Snow. We're going to be in Sport Plus. However, this you can go through and change for your personal mode. So let's say you like the lightest steering, but the most aggressive, um, what should I say? Most aggressive powertrain. So your engine transmission, you can adapt that. Let's say you live on a bumpier road. You don't want the sport suspension setting. You can set it to standard, everything else to sport or sport plus. For example, your engine transmission so just really, really cool, really easy to use. And you can even have your quick guide, just all your basic, easy, need to know information there. Your settings, you can even go, you can see you have a infotainment screen in the gauge cluster. You go to meter, main menu selection, and you can turn on and off all of the different main menus. So scroll through the menus, use these buttons here, and you can go through all of your different screens. TPMS settings, your factory reset, display effect, all just really, really cool. With your Pro Active Pack, you can turn on and off the Pro Active features without further ado i say let's drive this red sport it's what it's built to do let's see what it's like out on the road Q60 based on the same or essentially the same platform as the Q50 and is designed as the coupe version of the Q50. However, exterior styling is much more elegant and it's just a very, very, it's more sport focused, shall I say, than the Q50 Red Sport. Q50 Red Sport is still an excellent car, but the Q60, when you drive them back to back, you feel this is definitely much more of a sports car focus than the Q50, which is very much like a sports sedan competing against cars such as the M340i.
can go ahead, move the shifter to the left to engage manual mode. I'm gonna be a bit cautious over this bump. Shift paddles mounted to the back of the steering wheel. They move with the steering wheel. Easy to use and it's easy to find each and every time. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Q60. I definitely think these aren't talked about nearly enough. And I definitely think they should be more popular. You know, for a daily driver here in New England, you can't go wrong. I've driven these in the snow, you know, back in winter when I was trying to shuffle cars around the parking lot. These Q60s never got stuck, even Red Sports. You add up to a foot of snow and it goes straight through that snow bank. When you clean snow off the car, you make that snow bank in front, it goes right through it every time. It is absolutely staggering how good these are in snowy conditions. Are they going to be the best thing in the world? You know, like a, oh, let's say, I don't know, a Hummer or something very off road, snow focused, like, I don't know, a snowmobile? No. But they're going to be much better than similar cars such as a Mustang or a Challenger or anything like that. They're all-wheel drive and they give you that. You can have a coupe that you can drive in the winter. That's very hard to come by nowadays. Especially at an affordable price point. Steering, this is direct adaptive steering as part of the proactive pack. So no actual mechanical connection. 99% of the time there's no connection between this wheel and the, st the two front wheels. However, the actual connection is there and if the car does lose power, a clutch engages that steering rack. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.